So now, uh, we come back to my, I think a relatively low price uh, solar panel, not cost efficient, um, which means you're not going to set it out in the sun and maybe, you know, save as much money producing uh, electricity as what you paid for the panel, but um, more, I'm using it for demonstration purposes. So we have the LED there. LED is lit up. It's that solar panel that is uh, lighting it up right now based on the lamp over it. There you can see if I cover the panel with my hand, um, the LED uh, gets uh, dimmer. And um, of course, I can shine the flashlights on the panel to uh, get the LED to be uh, brighter right there. So yeah, you can tell that's uh, lit up pretty good. So in any case, um, we are starting off at a kind of a basic point. We got the panel, light goes on it, and the LED uh, lights up. Of course, kind of a pointless circuit. The LED is just a load. Show you I'm powering a load right now. And uh, we can see actually how much uh, voltage we're getting. So first I'm gonna hold the probes with my hand. So this is, uh, the lamp's not even completely over uh, the panel. Um, so it could be a little bit higher, but uh, yeah, it looks like we're building up about the minimum voltage needed to uh, power this load, even without a load. And don't touch these if, um, you know, they're getting full power. Um, they'll be really hot right there. But there you can see a higher voltage right there. And now I'm going to need to keep my hands free. So I'm going to do something I do in a lot of my videos where uh, I got these alligator clips that I crimped to a male to male breadboard jumper. Other end looks like this. I just squeezed the uh, metal clamps of, or clips, whatever you would call them, of uh, the alligator clip on the connector side to that uh, the other end of the male wire right there. So we will plug that in over here, kind of keep it out of the way, and uh, we'll see the voltage of the solar panel again. Again, this is without a load because the load is going to draw current, which is going to drop uh, the voltage that uh, the panel provides unless, you know, maybe unless you're in sunlight or something. But there you can see it's a five volt panel and we got like, uh, so I was looking through the camera, messed up my aim. If I aim it pretty good, about 5.4 volts right there that it can provide without a load. And uh, now let's uh, get these uh, flashlights off. Um, Let's get the uh, load back on the LED and I'm going to stick it on this side again, close to the panel as possible. I mostly have these jumpers for the uh, capacitor. So yeah, there you can see um, voltage went down and these do not want to slide in. Very easy. There we go. So yeah, went down because of the load. We saw that it lit up and got brighter as uh, we got more light on the panel. And there you can see, we're getting, you know, maybe uh, like three volts right there. Um, so again, we'd need uh, brighter lights. Hopefully you can see that. We would need brighter lights to actually power this uh, really well. But again, the intention um, would not be to use a solar panel to power a light directly. That's kind of pointless because you need light to get the power. So we have a capacitor here. I don't know what the capacitor voltage is at uh, the moment we'll see when i plug it into uh the board right here and maybe i do not have enough space uh, to do so so my uh my little plugs there were too much space to share with the uh, super capacitor so i think it's a five or four four farad capacitor but there you can see um, the voltage is down, but now the capacitor is charging. So it's 2 volts. We're going to need about 2.5, and uh, it went down because I was uh, covering it. Um, it's going to need about uh, 2.5 volts in order to uh, power this load right there. And um, so you can see I can raise the voltage pretty quick. And I do see the, uh, yeah, the LED is lit up now. So it wasn't lighting up earlier. I was trying to charge it like this. But yeah, you can see that the LED is lit up now when I got enough light. I was also trying to do this with a uh, smaller panel. So um, we removed this smaller panel. I would have been able to get the whole panel on the screen and uh, get all of this. And um, you know, it would look better, but of course the smaller panel doesn't generate as much power. So I got this smaller panel and I think this might've been the first one I soldered. I just 
uh, put a little uh, loop in the wire right there and I filled in the uh, loop with the solder where the pads are and I used the tape to kind of hold it in place so it didn't move while I was soldering and uh, whatnot and also um, the tape is taking all of this pressure now instead of the solder joint so I can uh, move these around but I was able to plug that in the board there and then you can see the panel right there in the screen um, without me having to zoom uh, way back and uh, so any case oh uh, yeah we have the capacitor now and it is a uh, backup power but um, unfortunately it uh, it's gonna take time to charge and looks like uh, at this light level it's probably not even uh, going to charge but you can see uh, with the uh, lights that um, hopefully you can see there we go um, you can see that uh, the voltage is rising as long as I keep uh, light on it and uh, yeah looks like nope maybe uh, with this amount of light the load is actually going to uh, take too much current if we get to a high enough voltage so now without the flashlights I don't think this is gonna work out uh, too well with the uh, the load uh, drawing power but if we're outside where we could get uh, more current let's actually raise um, the amount of uh, current we can provide to uh, 2 amps this uh, super capacitor um, you can you know apply uh, 2 amps to a super capacitor that's uh, probably just fine as long as the super capacitor can handle that uh, amount of current but this particular uh, super capacitor has a little bit of internal resistance I think it's somewhere like 60 uh, ohms and uh, so there you can see we are you know powering the LED and uh, voltage is going up over time because the super capacitor is also uh, charging right there the uh, LED is not taking all of the current you know current is going into the super capacitor and so the voltage will raise over time and it's kind of jittery um, because of uh, how well I can make uh, contact and whatnot but there you can see the uh, voltages are going up and also this is a test circuit I could just uh, clip it to the probes because the probes are connected to uh, the circuit via those jumpers and uh, so there there we go we can do that as well this will be more steady give us more uh, steady uh, voltages so again um, this is not you know like a practical circuit you might build this is kind of simulating we got a real bright light on this uh, panel and um, I think it might be a 5 watt panel so I think it could provide up to uh, 1 amp of current 5 volts 1 amp I'm not sure the exact uh, um, uh, rating it is but in any case it doesn't really matter for our purposes but yeah you see current is still flowing because the uh, super capacitor has a little bit of internal resistance and uh, therefore it's not uh, conducting uh, perfectly and it will have five volts across it as long as current is being uh, pumped into it you could simulate that's because there's bright enough light on it um, but um, you know you cut the light we're covering the panel um, now you can see that that LED is still lit up you know we have everything uh, shaded I can completely disconnect the uh, panel and um, there we go panel couldn't lit light it at all even if it wanted to and the power supply is not providing any current all that light is coming from the super capacitor being charged right there so again this uh, setup itself is not uh, terribly uh, practical um, you'd be better off not powering the LED just using the panel to uh, charge the capacitor and then when you need light that's when you turn the LED on having the capacitor uh, power the LED that would be a more practical you know that's uh, basically a night light situation so in any case uh, measuring voltage is uh, pretty much always safe if you are measuring current for some reason get it off of the current uh, setting but with this particular meeting we don't have a meter we don't have an on off button we have an off setting so set it there this will start beeping and I don't know if it ever turns off um, but it starts beeping if it's left on and then I realize I got to turn it off but yeah there you can see as long as you had enough solar hitting this particular panel even um, then when it uh, power is cut the uh, super capacitor would still be able to uh, power the LED as long as you got enough light for a long enough period of time and so on so I think uh, 
you know, even if you don't want to buy any of this stuff, just watching me do this demonstration should have got you more familiar uh, with uh, power circuits where you got like uh, solar energy storage and whatever. This is a small version of it, but the same principles apply. Also, if you're going to use a panel to charge a battery, there's charge controllers. So that's what you would have for a large system. Um, but if you were using a panel going directly to a battery, there's complications to do so. One of them is that, uh, you know, when it gets dark, then the uh, battery might push power into the panel and first off might waste uh, energy, the stored energy, um, but might damage the panel, you know, if situations are right. So you would have a diode that uh, lets you charge the storage, in this case a supercapacitor, but uh, would block current from going back. And uh, so that's something you would have to add and uh, and so on. So you would add to this, but the basic principles for using solar to charge a storage of some kind, batteries are far more uh, practical. They store more energy and uh, uh, so on. So you probably won't use a supercapacitor, but the supercapacitor makes a nice uh, demonstration right there. First off, we could see the voltage changing as the supercapacitor was charging because they charge a lot faster because they don't store as much uh, charge. Um, so you can see their voltage is changing over time. But in any case, we still have a bit of light right there with the uh, LED, as you can see. So even this simple uh, setup, you know, if you need just like an emergency lighting or something, you know, you could have a solar panel, a little super capacitor and uh, the LED. Not sure how long it would be uh, bright enough to walk around, but probably uh, quite a, a long time. Um, at lower voltages, less current flows, but it still, you know, emits enough light where uh, you can see stuff in the room right there. So in any case, uh, yeah, this went on a lot longer than I thought. I thought it'd be like two or three minutes, um, but I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.